Hi everyone, my name is Murud Amin So. I am well known by my pen name, Murud Amin Age Al Musaf So. I am 28 years old and I am a Gambian. I am an emerging young West African writer and a scholar. And the title of my spoken word is The Raped Africa Today. And it reads Once upon a time, in the continent of sugary sweets and sugar canes, now goated into democracy and tribal dust, costly sips once came. Authoritatively unauthorized, they say, we're gonna discover the river Nile. Then, missionaries too came, perhaps to discover gold mines, raped and cheated, kissed and forced into bed. Africa lost her virginity to boats and ships that had pedal on our waters. At once, churches were built. Crowns of our leaders felt the guilt. Utility utilized our able youth Plantations and industries got to use. Tearing the sky with an unpardonable insult. Our minerals then suffer the result. The birds sadly sang the song of sorrow. Lizards crawled afar with leopards. Each got worried for tomorrow. There in my wonders for freedom. I went on searching and researching, speaking and writing. I wrote and still writing, have even read what you were reading in the classroom and staff room. History got me rewriting. Busiest of the years reminded me the down. Yes, Africa had drowned. Her sexy pants frowned, chained to her breast, her bread padlocked to her lips. She got her ties bended. I heard what I hear. Did you hear? Feelings I felt stretch right into my ear. This ear and last ear and every ear. Remnants of ponderous sententiousness welded into the juiciest of multiple models. Emotional battering, clattering and smattering. I read. Sleep got me woken up today, I slept. Dreams took a bath in the creamy dreams I dreamt. These readings I read, vermin of my tongue slipped acidic rain. Undoubtable, unforgettable, unbelievable. Lost in my brain, untraceable, unbearable. I wish I can recall unwatchable, unreachable. Unreadable and unforgivable. Africa was raped bitterly. Then was in her stains of blood. Our rivers flooded. Boundaries were drawn. Flags were chosen for each country. Monkeys started singing different songs. National anthems got displayed in Latins. And each colonial power drawn in pattern. Governing and discovering, finding and remembering, my ice screen, plasma television screen. Then I reeled and got into an inn. Silence broken into the corners of my hairy eel. I am searching and still researching inside the mountains and plantains, up on top of the trees, into the belly of the lilies. Even the frogs had me talking to titties, dark in the air and in the middle of my hair, into the sky. I tried, got drenched and dried. My heart burned, smokes of your richness. I buckled into the seatbelt of hope again. I melted in the zip when, and I searched, and I am still searching. But I found no one with sound knowledge. But finally, Congratulations to you. The duo are now youths who 
Who are you talking about? Who? Who? And who are they? Who? 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 And who are they? The duo are now youths. Very soon they will be adults. Those children you've been expecting, which children? Of course, those children you've been expecting, they, the couples, you mean, to make Africa great again, will soon marry each other and give birth to a United States of Africa. I dream a United States of Africa. Hi, everyone. My name is Mudul Amin So. I am well known by my pen name, Mulamin Age Al Musaf. So, I am 28 years old and I am a Gambian. I am an emerging young West African writer and a scholar. And the title of my spoken word is The Raped Africa Today.